Imagine a world in which every single human being on the planet has equal access to the sum of human knowledge. Together, we are creating the most comprehensive encyclopedia that has ever existed, Wikipedia. Since early 2012, the non-profit that supports Wikipedia started a program called Wikipedia Zero, which creates partnerships with cellular carriers to waive the data charges to access Wikipedia on cell phones. You might think that such data charges are trivial. We want to show you that they aren't. Take a moment to watch this film. We would like to invite you to raise your voice with us to sign a petition to ask for free access to Wikipedia. Wikipedia belongs to all of us. And together, we can make things happen. This is our story. Here in Toslovo, a lot of people here have talents which are not recognized. A lot of people know information and are quite talented but not educated. As Nelson Mandela said, we are free and we are quite free but I wouldn't say that we are free because living in, in Islam is not quite free. No, we're not free. People are not employed, our parents are not employed, so we don't always get everything we wish we could have as children. This is our school and this is the rubbish. And for us as, as Sinenjong High School, we don't think we deserve to learn in these conditions. But living here, I think it is at some point an advantage because it makes me determined to become a better person in life because I want to change the situation that I live under. I take education as a key. I want to work hard for my future so that I can become something big. If you are educated, you can be the person you really want to be. These learners who are in matric now were born just before 94 or they're born just after. So they have not grown up under the laws of apartheid, but they still feel the effects of it. And because current is directly proportional to power, sometimes we don't have enough resources like books to study, to go to the library, it's a one hour walk. So you can, you'll get there at five o'clock, they're already closing. The only reading material that these learners have is their textbooks. In homes here, you won't find reading material. So then how do learners access information? I would like you all to look on Wikipedia. One of the interesting things you can search for is click languages. At first, I personally didn't know anything about Wikipedia. It was like finding this great solution that's always been there, but we just didn't know that it was. Wikipedia is like a teacher to me. You search for a term, but you'll be getting more than what you expected. We're having our final exams in six days' time. This is geography. When I revise, I write some of the stuff on the wall so that I don't forget them. Every day when I wake up, I can see them. 
as much as it's hard for us to access information here it's quite amazing we all have cell phones everyone could get the information they need but now that we need airtime to access Wikipedia, it's like if you don't have money, you don't have information. If you have money, you have the information. Sometimes you need to take the money you have for your lunch and then you must buy airtime. In my school, we decided to write up an open letter to our local cell phone providers. We asked them to offer their customers free access to Wikipedia on their cell phones. With Wikipedia, you have some backup, you have somewhere where you can read about the things you need to know. We are living in a world where school children need to access technology to do well in life. Our learners are not exposed to a lot of things. So with Wikipedia, we're opening up a new world that might not be known to most of them. Wikipedia is a window. In fact, I would describe it as sitting on the wings of a hawk on top of the sky and looking down and what is going around them. Upon the rails from prison on 11th February 1990 and on his election as president of South Africa on 9th May 1994, Nelson Mandela addressed the nation here. Maybe the speech was about like being united as one and for him becoming the president of South Africa so that he can make everything for everyone equal. So that's Wikipedia. That's what we want from Wikipedia, the knowledge for everyone, equal. The cell phone today has penetrated the very bottom on the socio-economic ladder. Six billion people have cell phones. If people understand that cell phones are ubiquitous and Wikipedia is free, and all you have to do is to connect those two things together, then you have free access to information right there. In the pocket, every day, all the time. It's a game changer. There's a lot of talent in Joslov, raw talent. It's like a gold mine. Sometimes you see the rubbish and you think it's useless. But once you dig deep in that rubbish, you might find gold. I'm Lucanio, came here to study at the University of Edwardes Rand. I have never valued education as I value it right now where I'm at. Once you do actual science, you notice that it's not about what you have, but it's about how you use what you have. And the how comes from being educated. In South Africa, we have a lot of resources, but our population is not really educated. So we don't know how to use our resources effectively. I want to go into politics because I want to change places like just lower to become places like where I'm at right now in this university. I don't think I would have gotten where I am right now without the help of Wikipedia. I don't. Once you're educated, you can think rationally. And if you have a heart and you're educated, there's nothing that's impossible to you. I want to become a medical practitioner because I want to give back to the society. I want to change people's lives. Wikipedia, I can say it helps a lot because I learned there and I found my career there in electrical engineering. That's my future career now. When I'm older, I think I'll become a surgeon or a neurologist. I think of myself being big. <laughs> there are very few female geologists, and I want to change that and show that we are also capable of something best in life. And then this other day, Pete told us, guys, do you know that you could write up your own articles on Wikipedia? And we were like, really? 
Our class went out together to take pictures of Joe Slovo. I used to play this game. And then we could take them and we can put them on Wikipedia. I myself am proud. I just want the world to see the places that we are coming from. There was so much that was not there on Wikipedia that we could add, especially in the course of Wikipedia. Wikipedia in our own language. I'm trying to write an article about Omnosha. It's going to be a new article. <laughs> like the tribal name of Nelson Mandela. They wrote something wrong. It's supposed to be Dalibu. Wikipedia is like a portal to share our own ideas, share our own information. It's amazingly empowering, I think, for them to be part of that whole movement because it's, it's like a movement, it's like a revolution. Wikipedia is a solution that's making our dreams a possibility. We felt that there's a need for free access to Wikipedia so that everyone can be able to gain knowledge. It's not about us or about me anymore now. It's about other children who need all of the information that's available on Wikipedia for free. Six billion people have access to cell phones. Wikipedia is free, but data charges stop billions of people from even using it. Please sign our petition and encourage cellular carriers to provide free access to Wikipedia on cell phones.